guys welcome how are you yes we are building the mode 65 today super excited about this we have a lot to cover here all right shall we start showing you guys stuff because i have a lot to even just show you here are all the extra bits and then i have these additional extra bits over here so i'm just gonna start unboxing things with you uh first off can i just say i know this isn't terribly important but i appreciate the the amount of packaging uh that's going on here they clearly like really tried with this so here is our production as far as i'm aware uh lilac anno backweight and the magnets so for those of you who don't know, the uh, back way to use magnets to uh, attach so you can just pull them off really quickly is the idea. Palm is different from polycarbonate, yes. Palm, generally speaking, has a deeper sound and is slightly more flexible. All right, here is your multicolored titanium. I'll try and shift this around for you too so you can catch the light. And then here's the copper. And this copper looks like it's been sandblasted and then clear coated. That's just what it looks like. I'm not saying that's what happened, all right? But there you go. Those are the three back weights I have to show you. And then here are our plates. So we will be building with the palm and the carbon fiber with those conpedos. But here is our carbon fiber plate. We got the palm plate as well. So I got the black palm. There shouldn't be uh, a sound difference really between black and white palm. But I figured most people knew what a white palm plate looks like, so here's the black. It's got like a, a matte texture. Palm versus FR4 FlexWise. Palm is probably the most flexy plate material in my opinion. FR4 is kind of middle of the path. And then here's that copper plate. I'm going to catch the light so you can see it in different lighting. I do have pretty harsh direct lighting going on. There you go. Now, the next part you guys probably want to see are the bottom pieces. Here's the copper bottom. The copper actually does not have a matte finish nachos. Um, I don't know if maybe the camera is kind of blanking it out, but it is definitely sandblasted and has the same texture as the anodized lilac finish. Then here's the lilac bottom. Um, they do ship um, in this shrink wrap to keep them safe. Appreciate. So we're gonna go ahead and take the packaging off this one. So here you go. There's that bottom. Um, as far as machining marks go, uh, I see a few in the recessed areas, so right along here and in here, but nothing on the outside where it matters. And same thing with the copper. I can see machining marks kind of in the inside and the recessed areas, but not on the outside or anywhere that'll show. Here we go. This is our poly top. Really quick, I'm gonna show you the magnets. So here's how the back weight attaches. Um, so there's two magnets and then these little alignment uh, kind of cutouts. And so that's how the back weights attach to the back. So even once it's built, you can swap them out really, really easily, which I think is super cool. I appreciate that. Also on this top, I've noticed there's some little cutouts with little silicone bits here to try and help with the uh snapping in of this and keeping a cushion etc so it was kind of cool you finally have enough parts to do a drop test on something i'm not drop testing anything you absolute goons you goblins no so here we have our silicone caps the plate caps that they use for kind of gasketing here are our screws more screws and bits this has stabs in it, so I'm gonna put that off to the side right there. This is our daughter board. Our extra feet, which I'm gonna put with the copper bottom. And the silicone right here. And then we have the, the PCB that I mill maxed. And then they also include a screwdriver, which I really appreciate. As a serial loser of screwdrivers, this will make this stream much more cohesive. <laughs> okay, um, should we do top mount first? First. It's really funny. I'm stupid sometimes. Um, and so I've actually always had a bit of a hard time with modes mounting system that everybody finds easier. Um, I, for some reason, really struggle with it. What's the difference between having an alu or PC bottom when it comes to sound? So polycarbonate, generally speaking, has a more muted sound. So it's not as loud as aluminum, but it'll tend to be slightly higher pitched. 
in my experience. So here we go. It the the back weight should slot on really easily. It does. There you go. So that's the titanium with the lilac. If I do say so myself, that fucking slaps. Is the mode 65 still available? Yes, and it will be available all year. No, they're not. All right. Are you ready? So these are Conpedos with um, lubed with 205 grade zero with desk keys films. Uh, and then Durox stabilizers lubed with 205 grade zero as well. And Future Funk. All right, here we go. He needs a little bit of help. And that, do you want me to add in the dampener? So all the dampener is gonna do is make it more muted. So I'm not terribly interested in doing that, but if you guys want it, I will do it. Just say it in chat. How's the typing feel? Flexy. Would you guys like to see? Let me show you. So obviously the corners are gonna be slightly more flexible than the rest of it, but that's the keycap. And that's, that's the additional flex in the corner. And then again, that's just me pushing the keycap down. And that's the flex in the corner. <laughs> Same thing over here, keycap, flex. So keycaps down and then flex. You can see the plate in the poly. That's partially why I got the poly. You're very welcome. Um, there you go. Lots of flex. But yeah, this is this is from, again, the middle row right here. Home row. Wee. Wee. All right, and then here's what it looks like with the lilac back piece. So here's the fitment of all of that for those of you who are asking. I'm gonna angle this up toward the camera. Ooh, the magnet did it a little earlier. There we go. It just snaps on, no problem. I am having slight bananaing on the edges with this one too. Um, you see how there's like some slight gapping at the edges, and then it's completely flush, and then the far edge again there's some slight gapping that's what i'm referring to all right and then here's the copper didn't quite have that on all the way there we go now it's on all the way but again slight gapping at the edges no big deal just be aware copper looks more orange than i thought here is it versus gmk peaches and cream and the rama cara in momo for reference on the copper it looks like copper guys like i think maybe you just aren't used to sandblasted copper because that's 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 what i expected as far as the copper goes what are your overall thoughts so far i love this i honestly really really enjoy this keyboard i haven't tried the different mounts but i think this is a really honestly solid option especially for somebody um beginning now i will say something i feel necessary to say this is a lot of skus this is a lot of parts to keep track of. And this is a concern I had with the original mode run when they were brand new, but this is technically only their second group buy. And while they absolutely blew my expectations out of the water with how they handled the mode AD, and I do believe they've done a lot of prep work to try and make sure that they can fulfill these, it will always be a worry of mine with this many parts and as many orders as they're gonna be getting that that might cause problems in either rushing QC or otherwise. That being said, I believe they can do it. I just feel the need to mention it. All right, are you ready for how sounds differ between uh, aluminum and copper bottoms? You're gonna like the copper bottom more, I'm just gonna tell you right now. So this is the copper bottom. Everything else is the exact same as the aluminum test. We literally just swapped it out really quick. All right, here we go.
There you go. So again, same amount as our aluminum typing test, uh, just different bottom. This is the copper instead of the aluminum. How much does the top sound affect versus the bottom? In my opinion, the bottom affects sound more, but that's my opinion. It will definitely have a significant effect on sound, just like the bottom it did. It's just, in my opinion, the bottom slightly affects it more. Final thoughts? Final thoughts? I really, really enjoy typing on this. I love that there's a, a bunch of different ways you can use it. I love that it's really accessible. I love the options. Um, I have a little bit of a struggle getting that back piece on, uh, but that's really my only complaint, I guess. Uh, that and like the slight bananing that I found on my back way. I'm going to double check with the mode guys and make sure that I wasn't putting it on incorrectly. That is a potential explanation. I don't see how I would have been putting it on incorrectly. Like I checked to make sure it was all snapped in, etc. But it is possible. I think those are my only two really real complaints. Beyond that, I, I really enjoyed typing on this and building this and I really, really like it and I would absolutely recommend it. Uh, and again, make sure you're subbed to the YouTube if you want to see the YouTube typing test and or review. Um, I did have a mode unboxing. So if you want to see the packaging, for everything here, um, I did that on my TikTok and I will additionally be doing, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, typing tests over there. Probably, unless I decide not to, but probably. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. Goodbye, friends.